Welcome back guys. Part of Paris's Broken Wrist series, we're gonna do some kit reviews because um, she's not able to get out on the bike as much as she'd like or at all at the moment. Although you did do a ride the other day. Oh, to take the bike to the bike shop. It wasn't a good idea though. So. I'm sure at some stage we'll give you a bit more of an update on everything that, that has been going on in Paris's world um, when she's happy to share it. But like I said, we're gonna do a few kit reviews and, um, and these are products that we've used for the last five or six months. So we've got a really good, um, like feel for them, so like how they work and, and what we like about them and what we don't like about them. First thing we're gonna start with is an HJC Ibex 2 helmet. Do you know any stats about this helmet? Stats. I know, I know nothing. Number of vents. 16. Perfect. <laughs> Weight. 205 and 220. Yeah, so the, the helmet comes in at about 200 grams, which, I mean, that's a pretty lightweight, lightweight, lightweight helmet, right? Yeah, I mean, I suppose when I'm thinking about my last helmet, I, I, in complete reality, I don't think it was a massive difference. So I feel like, is that just the standard for helmets? No, I think helmets are one of those things where you don't really notice it until you pick up your buddy's one who's super light and yours has been heavy. But I think like helmets nowadays, it, like the weight of a helmet is a bit of a much of a muchness. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and in terms of like style, I, you know, we're not kind of, I wouldn't say we're necessarily tech gurus, right? We're not kind of like trying to shave grams off helmets. They're and far from, far we're not, from. you know, we're pretty fair weather riders, so. No, absolutely not. I cycle in wind and rain and <coughs> weathers <laughs> of all kinds. You've missed the entire winter season. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> um, but but I, what I mean is, is like 16 vents. 14 vents, 21 vents, like it wouldn't necessarily it wouldn't mean, make it wouldn't mean anything, yeah. anything to us, right? Um, in the winter, I, you know, I wear a little like headband over my ears to stop, you know, things like that. So in the summer, like we did do a, a bunch of summer rides in them, like you probably wouldn't realize that no, you're getting no, airflow, no, no. Yeah. but no, you do get airflow, not. right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think one of the things that's definitely like, if I pick up on some of the things that you say when we ride, <laughs> I'm gonna kind of preempt something, which is you don't love how your sunglasses, and they have a designated. Yes, I think I think I find that they're not quite in the right space. I don't know if they're more designed for like particular makes of sunglasses, but I find for my sunglasses they stick out. If I put them upside down, which I normally would do with my old helmet, and the stand where you can wear them, it sticks out way too much. This is literally the information that people need, right? Is you cannot, I find the same thing, like yeah. you have to put your sunglasses in the right way up, which... Which seems weird. It's, no, it's weird though. You Like you don't put sunglasses in a helmet the right way up. I don't know why, why is that a thing? So, but I mean, that's one of the things that we definitely observed. Like when every time you sunglasses off, um, so that you do have, you know, these are designated sun, like, like, like it's literally yeah. listed as a designated. You know, so what, when, I, when I first started wearing these, I tried to not take sunglasses if it was like, if I, if I didn't really need them just because I didn't want to have to put them on the top because I didn't think they looked cool. <laughs> yeah, but it plays a part. It plays a yeah. part. Um, but, okay, that's it. it that's enough yeah. on that. Enough on that. So just like, you know, it, it, one of the things you should watch out for if you go and buy one in, in a store is to take your sunglasses with you. Double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the big thing for me, which is, uh, and this kind of something that um, Paris tells me off for, is I, like every now and again I just let my hair grow. Um, and it might, I don't know whether you find the same, because obviously women have like way more hair, right? You don't have an adjustable tensioner on the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a self um, like driven tensioner. So in theory, if you set your tension, and it took me a while, I had to Google how to actually do it. I still think I told you how to do it, but okay. Um, yeah, so changing, like it's a, it's a, it's an intricate system. Like it, it's like very in innovative. Um, so Max has a really fat head, because I've just looked at mine, and I have a size small, and you've got a size medium, and these little bits, Yeah. you're on like right at the end. Yeah. So I, you've, I've, I've got the tiniest head in the world though. With a massive forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that's one thing to know. I literally have the smallest head in the world, so loads of helmets normally don't fit me because I am like I have a brain the size of a pea. But this actually does fit perfectly. Yeah, no, I think the fit the fit for me has always been great. And like, not you know, it's weird that you touched on that because my dad used to call me bomb head as a child. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I perhaps I don't even need a helmet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this right. Um, yeah, but uh, it's one of those things that I like to like really crank up. My, like, I whack my helmet and then I crank it up so there's no like play. Yeah. Uh, with this, like if I get a haircut, then sometimes I feel like I've got to kind of like start again and like move 
a natural thing. So I know it shouldn't be growing your hair. It's as that. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's the one thing that Paris has also just realised is, is is this kind of rear. Um... Yeah, I think for girls especially, I didn't actually know that you could pull it down. I don't know how I didn't realise. So the majority of girls, if you've got long hair, you'd obviously put your hair up in a bun, uh, in a bun, in a ponytail, and then pop it through the hole. Um, but it's it's been absolutely fine. But I didn't realise you could actually pull this down to make it easier to put your hair through, which is actually really useful. I know that's not useful at all to you. But it's not only just for that, it's like it, like it depends what part of the of your head you actually want the tension well, yeah, to sit yeah, on no, as well. No, like yeah. You can have it kind of sit, I don't know what this part of the head, that, that kind of, um, the bit that kind of protrudes Gone. at the back, right? <laughs> I won't turn around because my hair looks horrible at the I mean, back. I've never noticed that, to be yeah. completely honest. I've never, if I've seen as I've never even changed the settings. Yeah. Have you actually ever pulled it Yeah, I have, yeah. Oh, you have, okay. Yeah. I think one of the things you'll notice as we do more tech reviews is Paris pays very little attention to, right. the, to the world around her. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, style-wise, I think they look really cool. Like, I'll be honest with you. I think um, I look quite good in them. You look good in them. <laughs> that was about average. Um, yeah, I, they're very sleek, which I think is really nice. It was a massive change. My last helmet was a, quite a bulky one, I think we could say. Um, so it was a massive difference when I first put these ones on. But I did get many a compliment don't know about you, but when I changed this one, I got so many compliments on how good it looked. I, I honestly wasn't a fan of it when I first put it on. I felt like it didn't suit me, but now I think it's so sleek. If it's perfectly on my head, it's not too like bulbous. I think it, yeah, it's really nice. No, I really like it. And <clears throat> if anything, it's just... It looks better on me. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Paris, the, the one, you know what, it's like, it's, <laughs> you know when someone's like says, what's your pet peeve? It's like, My pet peeve for you is the way you treat your equipment. Because what? we'll get to the end of a ride and you'll literally chuck your sunglasses into your helmet and then chuck your helmet into the back of the car. That's far, so fine. Ladies. I thought you were going to contest that that's what you do. You just admitted that you do it. Oh, I 100% yeah. do it. No, 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 I so, do do it. But it's yeah. kept in perfect condition. Yours is in much better condition, and especially considering it's white. Yeah, and, I'm, I've, done, like and I've done six months of riding in that. Yeah, I'm like appalled how But I look after my kit, like, as in like, I will take my helmet off and like, it always like, a, I never want to drop a helmet. Like, I never want to like fall off, fall off a bike or anything like that, because that, that can obviously affect the, the structure yeah, no, of the Yeah, I don't phone. know how that works, falling off a bike, so. Yeah, actually, you put yours to the test. <laughs> yes! Well, obviously, I didn't, it, no, I didn't, it wasn't you didn't hit direct, your head. no, exactly. Okay. Well, there you go. I, I think that's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you look after kit, whereas I break everything I touch. So. Or lose it. Or lose it, yeah. yeah. No, exactly. So it's a testament that we still have Paris's HJC Ibex 2 helmet. Um, and you've had one crash in it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I only had one crash in it. Cool. I think that's a Not couple, of, on, couple of thumbs up from us. So, um, do you want to rate it? Out of 10, standard. Okay, out yeah. of 10. Okay, ready? No, yeah, three. We're just going to set on one. Two. Oh, no, three. Three, two, two one, one, go, and then we'll yeah. set it. Yeah, okay, ready? Three, two, one, Eight, seven. two. I said you can't do points! <laughs> No! We would brace it down. Anyway. No, but that's quite good. That's good. Like, as in, I, the only reason, like, I, you know, the, the, the only thing I kind of find a bit pernickety is, um, is the, the tensioner at the back. Like, but it's weird because it's designed so that you can whack it on and it should just grab the back of your yeah, head. Yeah. I just don't always find that it does it um, if I've cut my hair or. <laughs> just keep your hair the same. <laughs> and then my seven, I suppose, is mainly because of the sunglasses situation. Well, there you go. That's it. That's it. I think we're pretty, we're pretty similar on it. Really like it. Like design. Um, you want to wrap us up? Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's it. The review done. Enjoy.